Sin North MP has for the first time broken his silence on the legal battle he's been fighting for the past three years. James Jeche Quason was ousted from Parliament and his name subsequently expunged from the legislative body's records after the Supreme Court nullified his election in the 2020 polls for holding dual citizenship. The former Canadian citizen insisted that he duly renounced his Canadian citizenship prior to contesting the 2020 polls, but said the most important thing to him now is to contest and win the by-election, which is the result of what the Supreme Court announced on the 17th of May 2023, declaring his intent with the full backing of the opposition NDC, James Jachikwesen, says he's determined to continue serving the good people of Asin North with all his heart, soul, body, and all the resources he can master for the benefit of his constituents. That, like the people of the South traditional area who are excluded from representation in this eighth parliament, they, the people of Asin North too, have been in that unacceptable situation for over a year. The Asin North constituency, a predominantly settler community, was created in 2012 after it was carved out of the then Asin North constituency that encompassed the Asin North and Central. The NDC won in 2012, the MPP in 2016, and the current seat until its annulment, the NDC occupied it. For scientific researchers, this is a referendum on the government. But if you look at the top issues affecting uh, voters uh, in, in, in Asin North, it is up jobs, it is education, so it's the job, economy, and roads. And luckily for them, the roads are being done. So some of the votes will be influenced by the roads. But we believe that most of them will not be influenced by the roads. It will be influenced by national issues, which at the moment doesn't favor MPP. But with the whole government machinery converging on the constituency with overnight developments like road constructions and upgrades, what will be the decider for the constituents? We are not kids in this town. We know the level of development prior to the elections. They have neglected us for long. If the NDC presents Kwesin 100 times, we will vote for him 100 times. They have sat down until a by-election, and if they think this is the best time for road construction to start, we welcome it, but we will decide on the election day. With the current nomenclature of the 8th Parliament, with the MPP holding 137 plus one independent majority seat and the NDC holding 136, Asinov will be very much different from Kumeu Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra.